you know now how your data is stored in Flying Upload and that you can work with any listing anytime again. And if we now want to start with Flying Upload, we have one other battle of concepts and this is do you want to work with a spreadsheet or Excel file or you want to work with the graphical user's interface? In Flying Upload, this is the same like online and local. You can decide how you want to work and you can switch anytime. It's always possible, so no worries. If you don't work with a spreadsheet, it's relatively simple. It's like I showed you in the videos before. You import your designs here or in the local edit and then you start writing your listing and then you have your design and your listing data. That's it. And if you want to work with a spreadsheet, that's also possible. Maybe because you have a virtual assistant who delivers you the Excel files. You have here, of course, also an option import Excel and spreadsheets and then you can download here our standard. That's also possible in the local tool with help and download Excel files. If you do this, I or you will get this Excel standard in the zip file. You can unzip and then you have here a basic one, for example, for the global listing like RedBulb and Spreadshirt. You have, of course, also something for KDP and for MBA. And in the MBA one, you can make your MBA listing and also your global listing in the basic one. So you have here um, different possibilities and examples are always in the Excel. What I did here is I prepared an example for you where I took the basic Excel file and the Amazon Excel file and yeah, to show you how it works and how it should look like. Um, the only important thing you should know when you import local, so here in this version, the Excel file and the designs should be in the same folder. Then you also don't need an image path, you just need the file name and yeah, your data and then you're good to go and it works then like the normal image import. You have your Excel, you drag and drop it in the tool and then you will see here all the data you entered in the spreadsheet. Here, no worries, because this was language Germany. And if I now switch to German, you will see here also the German listing. And here is the English one. And what you, you should know here is the Excel file is just for the import of the data. And after the import, the Excel or spreadsheet is not relevant anymore because from that moment onwards it is like I showed you in the other videos. You have now here a XML file where your data is stored from the design and you work with this XML file not bound to any spreadsheet, not bound to any folder like I mentioned before. So I can completely empty this. I can delete this Excel file. I don't do it because I need it a little bit later. And then I can simply drag and drop the images and the designs, uh, the listings pack in. And then I have here my listing data. And this is simply how it works. So the Excel file is just there to initially bring your data into flying upload and then it is not relevant anymore. Same goes online. I can here import my spreadsheet, then simply follow the steps. In this case, I should add the images. I can do that. And then next, follow the steps here. You can also add a mapping. So it is much more advanced than the local one, but I'll show you this in a moment. And then you can simply go through it. Everything okay, no errors and we're at the same position here. Our two images are added. And if I now have a look into the edit, you also see here the listing data. So as I said, local, online, doesn't matter. You can work 
like you want. And the same goes for an Amazon Excel. It's from the workflow the same. It just has a bit of a different data. So here when I go to here is my English listing because I fill this also for the input language in English. But what I can also do here now is I have an Amazon field where I can see my whole Amazon listings with marketplaces, prices, colors and so on. Online goes exactly the same. What I wanted to show you now is a specialty you just can do online. Because um, locally uh, Excel file is limited to one product at a time because products have different prices, have different colors and maybe also different marketplaces. And that's why for the overview you can always just import one um, product at a time in the local flying uploader. So for example, where is it? Here is my online import. I edit here, here the same file, the same file in two lines, but one time with the normal t-shirt, with the standard t-shirt here a v-neck and here standard t-shirt and a pop socket. And what I what happens now if I try to import this local? It will yeah let's say it will mess things up. So it can't really see what is the correct one or what is the wrong one. And it will import what it can import. But for example, this design is now two times here because I have two different lines and it should just be one. So you shouldn't do this locally. If you wanna import more than one product for your design for MBA, you can do an online import, drag and drop the Excel here, and then already this message will pop up merging rows. So it will know, ah, okay, different lines, same file name, I put them together. And then it's the same. We add our two designs we have here, or we need, and then click next, next, and then you will see here that the mapping looks all right. You can change it if you want. This is customizable. This is also just online. And here we have a problem and it says for this product, this color is not available. So I took a wrong color for a product and then I can simply change here the value or I can also say no color. Okay, ignore it and then let's import. And this is it. I have now my two designs imported and if I now edit them, you will see I have now, when I go to the MBA window, also my two products. Here I have my standard shirt and my v-neck and here I have my standard shirt and my pop sockets. And you see already this here and these are all the errors. So for example, in this case, my description here would be too short, not 75 characters like I needed. And if you have your data here, it's the same like before. You have here imported your designs. You can select them. You can make an upload badge. You can unzip them here and then load it into the local flying uploader. And upload it to every platform that you'd like, in this case, probably Amazon. And yeah, that's it about the Excel import. If you should use it, if you don't want to use it, you can do what you want. Um, you're free to go. You can work with the online version. You can work with the local version. Online, it is even more possible. You can customize your Excel. You can map it like what you want. You can import more than one product for uh, design. So everything possible online.